Dr. Connie, good morning. Good morning, Ricky Smiley, and this is your coronavirus update for today, January 13th. The United States has averaged more than 3,000 COVID deaths per day for the past week and has reported more than 200,000 new infections for the past week. Experts state that these numbers don't give you the whole picture, Ricky, because many cases, including mild or asymptomatic infections, have not even been diagnosed. There are also delays in reporting cases now because of the overwhelming numbers, meaning that infections reported today could have been identified days ago. We have increased our distribution. Earlier this week, we had distributed 10 million doses of vaccine. We now have almost 30,000 doses out, but we only increased the vaccines in arms from 8 million to 9 million people. So only another million people have been vaccinated. So we are still lagging behind in, of course, the distribution and getting vaccine in arms. So one of the things that's happened, they're relaxing the restrictions because there are first-line people who are still uh, questioning about whether to get the vaccine or not. So they're just declining it, including a lot of healthcare workers. So uh, they're just saying, give it to anybody who wants it, basically. They start off, of course, with greater than age 70, and then anybody younger than that that has comorbid conditions, if you're black in America, you have comorbid conditions. So if the vaccine is available in your area, go and get the vaccine, please, please. There are two variants available, of course, the Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine both require two injections. Funky no longer, <laughs> and Moderna. They're no longer holding back that second <laughs> vaccine, that second dose. So it's more, five, more vaccine available. So we are doing that. Okay, guess what, Ricky? They got this escape mutant of the, the variations now from South Africa. They call it this one the escape mutant because it's been shown to have an, an opportunity to escape the effects of antibodies and the vaccine. So this mutation is alarming. It's called an escape oh, yeah. mutant because it's been shown to do just that. And, what, and it but, does what again? Say, say that one more time, Dr. Collier. When it allows the, the uh, virus to escape the effects of uh, antibodies from the vaccines. So it's, it's now the question is, does it, it doesn't render the vaccines useless, but it's possible But that mutation plus in combination with other mutations could decrease the efficacy of the vaccine against that variant. Uh-uh, now, we need to stop all of them. Uh-uh, we're going to stop all them flights. From, don't come over here. <laughs> I'll come over here right now until we get all that saw. Stop. Until Hold we on. stop all that and get all that saw. But Hold Moderna on. and and Pfizer both say that they can quickly alter their vaccines if they need to to fight that off. So that's right now, that's still not a problem. Two paths yeah. to immunity. Remember, you get the virus and get over it. If you become infected with it, you get uh, you get uh, vaccinated. You get uh, immunity, or if you get the vaccine. So with more people getting it, that's the only one benefit that we're still rapidly heading toward her- herd immunity because so many. People are getting the back the, the uh, right. infection and getting over it. Hold on, let's go to the phone. You're on with Doctor Collier. Good morning. About the um, vaccine, listen. Go to your pharmacy or whatever. Do we have to pay for that? No, the vaccine is at absolutely no cost. The government is paying for it. If you have insurance, they're going to charge your insurance for it. If you do not, there's a thing called the CARES Act. That's C A R E S where funds have been uh, allocated to pay for the vaccine. So it shouldn't cost you anything. It shouldn't cost a copay. shouldn't cost anything. So don't hesitate. Don't let finances be an issue with you not getting the vaccine. It's available at no cost. Vaccine is just like salvation. It's free. Let's go to the next call. You on with Dr. Collier? Good morning. Yeah, I was wondering, does that vaccine cause convulsions? I know I've seen an episode of something that a woman tongue was jumping and then the whole body started jumping, the muscles started jumping. What? I was just wondering, does it cause convulsions or what kind of side effects it has? Uh, well, they have had people that have had uh, acute allergic reactions to the vaccine, and that one case I'm familiar with what you're talking about, that could have just been a reaction to getting an injection that has nothing to do with the vaccine. So I, I would state, no, I don't think that it causes uh, convulsions. And, and right now, there's been no real identified side effects that you should be concerned for as far as safety is concerned. But again, we're monitoring this in real time. So uh, as, if, as more people get the vaccine, you know, things may happen, and then we'll be documenting, and we'll be bringing that information to the Ricky Smiley morning show listeners. All right, there it is, Dr. Connie. Let everybody know how you can be reached and give them your disclaimer. Be reached on, on all. Well, first, these are the opinions of Dr. MJ Collier, not those of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show or its radio affiliates. Tonight, I'll be doing Facebook Live at 7 p.m. Go to Ask ASK Dr. MJ, and we're going to answer all of your health care questions. And go to my website. Like- <laughs>